create Android APK app from Google AI Studio. So this is a scientific calculator app that I have just created from Google AI Studio. And then I have been able to make an Android app from it. So this is the icon. When I click on it, you see that my app is open just like how it was in Google AI Studio and it's working perfectly fine. So let me show you how you can also create an Android APK app okay, from Google AI Studio. Just go to Google AI Studio. And then from the options over here, simply come here to where you have the build and come and click on it. Over here, you see that you have the option to come and build up. And when you click on your apps, that is where you will find all the apps that you have built in Google AI Studio. So all that you have to do is simply come and then select the one that you want to make an APK of. So for this tutorial, I'm going to select the scientific calculator. And this is it. Okay, so after opening it, when you look at the top right hand corner, you see that you have these options. Come and click on download app. So when you click on it, it is going to download your app for you in a zip file just like this. You can come and click on show your folder to open it. After that, come to your desktop and then come and create a folder. So from new folder, then select it. Over here, come and name it how you prefer it. So I'm going to name it this. Okay. After that, come and then drag the zip file. Okay. The one that we just downloaded. And then come and then put it right into the folder that we just created okay and then what you have to do is simply come and then right click on it and then come here and then come and click on extract all okay so over here come and make sure that show extracted files when complete is checked and then come and click on extract so it is going to unzip it okay so as you can see we have all the files here just like this good what you have to do is simply install Visual Studio Code, that is VS Code on your system, and then come here to Files, come and select it, and then come and click on Open Folder. And what you have to do is that come and then select the folder, okay, the unzipped folder, okay, and then come and click on Select Folder. So when you click on it, it is going to load everything within the unzip folder, okay, in VS Code just like this. So you see that this is the folder right here. Come and then click on Add Files and then come and name it as Test File just like this and then hit Enter. So when you hit Enter, you have to open the test file and then come and then write in this exact prompt. Okay. So you are going to write that you are doing CLI. I have a React app from Google AI Studio and then over here, come and then put in the name of your app right here okay and then continue with it so with app.tss okay and then package.json and then come and then write everything in it just like this so all that you have to do is simply pause the video and then write it okay and come and replace the app name with your name just like this one important thing is that over here do not generate app icon if you don't have an app icon, okay, all that you have to do is just remove the option six, okay. So just pause the video and then write it. It is not that much, okay. It's good. So after that, all that you have to do is to come and then make sure that you save it by pressing Control plus S on your keyboard, and it's going to be saved just like this. And then come here to where we have the terminal, come and click on it, and then come here to new terminal and come and click on it. So the terminal is going to load inside your folder just like this. Okay. All that you have to do is simply come here and then come and then type in Gemini just like this and then hit enter. So Gemini is then going to load right in your folder just like this. Over here, come here to the chat and then come and then type in this. Please, I have a file name, test file, read it and do as it says at the exact same ways and then hit enter. So Gemini is then going to rebuild your up, okay in a form of an android project just like this okay so as you can see it has finished okay and all that you have to do is simply run it in android studio all that you have to do is simply come here to the test file that we created right click on it and then come down here and then come and click on delete because we don't need it anymore okay and then come and click on move to recycle bin so when you click on it all that you have to do now is that you have to come and say thank you to gemini for a good work done okay and then hit enter and gemini is going to respond great now that we have our full project in a form of an android package all that you have to do is simply come and click on close and then come here to your folder okay 
and then within it you will see that we have the one that Gemini created so this is it so when you open it you will see that we have one called 100 okay so this folder so when you open it you see that it is having everything that we need this is what you are going to use to build our APK what I have to do now is to install Android Studio on your system and then open it okay and then when you open it, it's going to come just like this. Come and click on the open and then come and then select the one that Gemini created for us. Okay. Come and then select the Android folder just like this. Okay. And then come here and then come and click on select folder. So it is going to sync everything for you automatically. You don't have to do anything. Android Studio is going to sync everything. Okay. And then it's going to load everything in the folder so as you can see it is taking the necessary times to download everything it needs to make your full apk app for you so as you can see it is doing it just give it time okay it takes time and then it will finish so when it is sinking and then it is done you will see everything inside android studio so it has finished syncing so as you can see we have all our apps and folders here so come and click on the menu and then from the top come and then click on the build okay and then within the build you are going to see that we have generate app bundle or apks and then come and click on generate apks so when i click on it over here it is then going to build your apk file for you so as you can see it is building it okay so give it time and then when it is done you will see this message so as you can see build android finish and then from here you also see a build success just like this okay good now go to the folder okay and then come here to the app folder and then over here come here to the android okay and then from the android come here to where we have the app okay and then from the app come here to the build and then from the build come here to where we have the outputs and then from the outputs come to apk and then from APK come to debug, okay. And then that is where you are going to find your released APK file, okay. So this is what you are going to send to your Android phone, okay. Just copy it and then come to your Android phone. So where you save it, my I save it at File Manager. So I'm going to go to All Files and then just go to the internal storage by clicking on it. And then when I scroll down, I'm going to see that you see that we have the APK file right here. Okay, so I'm simply going to click on it, tap on it, and then I'm going to install it. So over here, simply come and then click on install. And it is going to ask me to send it to Play Store because it is a new app. Play Store hasn't seen it before. We just created it. Okay, so don't worry. Simply come and then come and click on don't send. And then after that, it is going to install it for you. Okay. After it finishes, come and click on open. And that is it. We have our full Android app working. Okay. So this is how to generate Android APK app from your Google Studio app. Like the video and then see you in my next video.